Okay, this is my second video on rooting the HEC Droid Incredible in 10 minutes. Uh, look in the notes and you're going to see a uh, zip file, extract it, and there's two files in a folder in there. Start launching the HTC Sync install. Hit OK. Um, if you have uh, an antivirus, it's going to ask you to disable it. So just disable it at this time. I don't have anything, so I'm, I'm OK. What I'm going to do now is uh, copy the SDK folder. Copy it. Go to my computer, C drive, and you're just gonna, I'm just going to paste it right here on the root of the C drive. Okay, open it up. There should be an SDK setup. Launch it. If you have Windows 7 or Windows Vista, it's going to ask you for permissions prior to installing it. It's going to run through this little setup of it, which is fine. Okay, back at the HTC sync, just make sure you hit next. It's going to say about the antivirus, which I told you about already. Next, 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 install. Okay, this, if it says like uh, error fetching data, that's fine. Hit close, cancel, and then uh, exit that out. Okay, you can now close uh, that SDK folder. Now open up the commands.txt text file, and you can close that other folder. Okay, now what you're going to be doing is go to start, your run prompt, you're going to type in cmd. Okay, and here you're going to type in S, uh, cd backslash to take you to the root of the SD folder, I mean uh, the root of the C drive. Now you're going to type in cd sdk and then cd tools. CD tools. Keep in mind all this stuff is case sensitive, so do it in lowercase. In here, you're going to type in uh, ADB shell. Okay, it's going to either say uh, Damien not running or it's going to say uh, out of date. Either way, just make sure it says uh, device not found. Once you have that, you should be okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to power down my phone. As you can see on the phone itself, there's no super user, there's no Wi-Fi tether, the only thing I have on here is Astro File Manager. I downloaded that from the marketplace. So the only thing that this phone has is um, I just went, um, I signed in with my Gmail account, or my Google account. I'm actually just going to take the battery off, it's a lot faster that way. Okay. So the only thing I did on my phone was, uh, it's a fresh install with, uh, logged into my Google account and I installed Astro File Manager. What I'm going to do now is hold down the track pad button down here, hold it down, and I'm going to hold power. And I'm going to let go as soon as I see the screen turn on. Okay, all right, there you go, the screen turned on. By this time, your HTC Sync program should have finished by now, so just hit finish. If it, if it hasn't yet, then it, it's okay. Okay, um, if this appears, this Sync program, just close it down. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I count 10 seconds and then connect your micro USB cable. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10. Then I'm going to connect the USB cable to it. Okay. Once that's on there, a little balloon should appear on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's going to say it's installing the drivers. Just wait another 10 seconds or so. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10. It should say HTC bootloader. At this time, hit the power button on the top of your phone. Okay, now what it's going to do is it's going to error out right now because it's going to be looking for a file on your SD card since there's no files on the SD card or no file, that specific file isn't on there, so you should be okay. It should say installing device drivers. If it says error um, when installing, that's fine. Okay, uh, hit volume down to select the recovery option and hit power. Again, if it, at any point, if it says error right there, like it says a uh, device driver was not successfully installed, that's fine, okay? What I'm gonna do now is once you see that screen, you hit the up arrow on the command prompt, and it should say ADB shell, then just hit enter. It says device not found, device not found, device not found. There you go. See, it gave you that directory. If you keep hitting um, up, air, uh, if you keep executing the ADB shell and it keeps giving you device not found, um, what you're gonna do is uh, take off the battery. I'm, I'm doing it both methods just in case you can get the other way to work. Okay. Now I'm gonna run an option called loop. Keep in mind if you're if it said uh, no such files directory, just wait for. Um, for the rest of the people who are having issues. So I'm going to run the loop.boot. Keep in mind, you don't have to do this if it gave you that directory error. So hold the volume key, volume down and hit power. There's two methods on doing this. I just, I'm showing you both methods just in case people are having issues with the first method. Okay. Once it errors out on the file, okay, there you go. Once it errors out, hold down the volume key and hit power. Keep in mind, I'm still holding down the volume key and holding power, okay? It should just keep scrolling that says device not found. That's fine. I'm still holding down the volume key 
volume down key and power. Okay, now look at that. Now it says the exact same message that was on there before. So whatever way it works for you, all you have to get is to this method, uh, to this message that says um, no such file or directory. What I'm going to do now is hold the volume up key and hit power. Select the second option, apply SD card updates. It's going to error out because there's no uh, update.zip file on your um, SD card. If there is, delete it prior to following these steps. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute a command called 1.bat. Okay. And it's going to upload a bunch of files that I had pre uh, that I included in that SDK tools folder. And it's going to upload them to your SD card. Now you're going to go in your commands.txt and copy this second command right here that says adb push payload zip or uh, update. Copy it on here, but don't execute it yet. What you want to do is you're going to select the second option. And as soon as you see the meter, a uh, little green meter appear in the bottom um, on the bottom of the screen, you're going to hit enter on the keyboard as fast as possible. So we're going to do that now. Okay, there you go. I hit key enter on the keyboard already. Look at that. Okay, if for whatever reason you weren't able to time it correctly and it gave you an error, uh, just run the one.bat file again and then try the process again. Okay? What I'm going to do now is type in adb shell. Type in su to give you super user privileges. And now you're going to copy this command right here. It's the export space path. So we're just going to paste that on here. Now we're going to do this other one, the super user. What this one's going to do, this cat um, SD card is going to copy the super user APK from your uh, SD card. And it's going to paste it on, and well, it's going to place it in your uh, system.app directory inside your phone. And this other command is going to do the exact same thing, but with another file called su. And then you're going to type in this one, ln, and then chmod. What this one's going to do, it's going to change the permissions of your SU file. And then finally just type in reboot. Okay. I'm currently uploading the um, the HTC incredible downgrade. I'm actually going to probably end up stopping that because I want to show you the Wi-Fi tethering part. Okay. Uh, once that's done, actually you can close every screen you should be okay actually you know what I'm gonna cancel this right now because I want to show you the Wi-Fi tethering part what I'm gonna do now is on the computer itself I'm gonna disconnect myself from my router so I'm gonna select disconnect there keep in mind I showed you both methods so whatever method works for you okay okay disconnect myself okay going to take a while just w make sure the SD card loads that's the thing we're going to be waiting for right now okay if you go to uh, your applications you're going to see that we have super user on here see it right there okay now let's go to Astro Astro file manager whatever file manager works for you if it says directory is empty uh, just hit home sometimes it takes a while for it to load there should have been a folder created called uh, android.tether select that one select uh, wireless tether and then select open app, um, app manager go to install I should give you a message that says install block go to settings hit unknown sources hit OK hit the back button on the key and then we're gonna try launching that program again so click on it open file manager install install again application install so you're just gonna hit open right now hit close it says something about donating yeah you can donate feel free to donate okay now I'm gonna hit this button and it's going to ask me for uh, SU privileges. Okay, the little super user application is going to open it right now. See, it says, do you want to allow it? I'm going to hit allow. There you go. Okay, now what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to hit uh, the refresh. And then there should be an android.tether. Hit connect. There you go. Looks like it went through just fine. Now I'm just going to open up Chrome, and then uh, I'll go to my Gmail. And then as you can see, the traffic is loading on the bottom. Let's open up another thing, Craigslist. You can see more traffic appearing at the bottom, and that means it's working. All right, and there you go. That's how you get uh, SU privileges, super user, uh, root, and uh, Wi-Fi tethering, all in under 10 minutes <laughs> with 10 seconds to spare. Have a good day. Bye.